If you're over age 40, undoubtedly you know that pain starts to set in different places of your body. Maybe from injuries that we've had or incident events that we've had uh, decades prior. We start feeling shoulder pain, you might be feeling uh, tendon pain in your wrists and elbows, that's called tendinopathies, and they start becoming more prevalent. We tend to learn to live with it, but then your quality of life is somewhat diminished. For example, maybe you can't throw a football as well, or play with your, your kid, lift up your kid. Maybe you can't lie down on your right side, or you have to put your leg a certain way because of the pain and we learn to live with it. But I'm here to tell you that you don't have to live with it. There are things you can do, things that are available in terms of exercises, stretches, and therapeutic devices that when used in the proper way can reduce or even eliminate your pain. And that's what this video is about. The previous videos I made about red light therapy, pulsed electromagnetic field therapy or pulsed EMF. And today I'm gonna to talk about another therapeutic intervention called microcurrent. But before I get into that, I wanna talk again about uh, your cells. <clears throat> I wanna talk about the electrical nature of the human body. I talk about this extensively when I made my Pulse DMF videos. But this is very important to understand because that is the basis by which these instruments work. To get a deeper insight into this, I highly recommend this book called The Body Electric, Electromagnetism and the Foundation of Life by Robert Becker. He's a medical doctor and a researcher. And in the early 90s, he did some research into the electrical nature of the human body, how electrical currents, tiny electrical currents, are central to the survival of the living organism. As a human, your body is made up of trillions of cells. Now we're about 76% water, and we all know that water conducts electricity. Each individual cell in your body uses the flow of electrical charges to signal to other cells and to control the movements within it. Cells are constantly making proteins for structure and for uh, different functional purposes like enzymes and cofactors, especially your liver cells. Liver cells make thousands of proteins every minute. This requires the movement of electrical charges. The mitochondria, some of you may know that, uh, that's the energy producing unit in every cell. A process called the electron transport chain occurs in there and that's heavily reliant on having a membrane potential. Just like a battery, a positive and negative sides, you need that voltage, that potential, to drive the flow of current. Let's say you injured your shoulder. Now those cells have been disrupted. What the microcurrent does is it helps restore this disrupted electrical flow in the injured area. A microcurrent is not the same thing as TENS. You may have heard of TENS, transcutaneous electro-neuromuscular stimulation. TENS is much higher um, amperage and frequency, whereas microcurrent, sometimes referred to as MENS, microcurrent electro-neuromuscular stimulation. And by the way, that's, that's a bit of a misnomer because it's not just stimulating the nerves and the muscles. As I mentioned earlier, water, we're, we're mostly made up of water and water does conduct electricity. So that microcurrent goes through all your cells. This microcurrent unit emits between 30 to 50 microamperes of electricity. And that's so tiny that it's imperceptible. When you wear this, you won't feel any kind of tingling or twitching like you might get with other electrical stim units. And think about it, the cells are so tiny and the electrical flow within them is so minute that you don't want something to overpower that. So that's what microcurrent does. I was going through PubMed just to confirm the research behind microcurrent and there's some pretty impressive studies. Here's one where uh, microcurrent technology was used for the rapid relief of sinus pain, sinus congestion and pain. There was another one where it was applied via acupuncture, needle, acupuncture points, not the needles, uh, to lower back pain on the acupuncture points. And here's a study here where the study group had, that had the microcurrent had to take much less fentanyl after hip surgery because the pain reduction 
uh, was faster. Now here's one where microcurrent was used to knock down pain in the jaw, also called TMD. And here's one where microcurrent was successfully used to treat achillodynia, which is a tendinopathy affecting the Achilles tendon. Much of the pain that you feel in your joints are on the, the connective tissues, the ligaments and tendons. Those are, uh, many physiologists consider that non-living. Non Theoretically, there aren't enough cells there to repair it, to regenerate. So once you injure them, you're finished. That's why athletes who sustain a major injury are out for the season because we know that that type of tissue doesn't heal very well. Well, it turns out there are cells in your ligaments and tendons that they're somewhat dormant. Your ligaments and tendons are made up of collagen fibers, very tough collagen fibers, triple helix construction which allows them to stretch a little bit and rebound. They're embedded in this matrix made up of other substances. And uh, the collagen strands are secreted by what are called fibroblasts. And these are little cells embedded in the matrix that are largely inactive. They are active when you do have a sprain, strain, but they're very slow. And you could imagine the size of that ligament compared to the tiny cells, there's just a lot to cover. So this is why total rupture of a tendon usually requires surgery. So in this scenario, it would make sense to use therapies like pulse DMF and microcurrent to act upon those very few fibroblasts and get them to move and secrete that collagen to repair those tissues. So there are many microcurrent devices on the market. This one's called PainEase. There's not much to it. You have a the microcurrent unit here, the battery unit, and you have a strap that places it on the affected part. Now they make this for your knee, your hip, your wrist, your elbow. This particular one is for your shoulder. I happen to have a chronic AC joint sprain. I've been using it actually along with this infrared heat lamp. That's another thing. It's good to combine these home therapies to get quicker results. Okay, it consists of this shoulder strap here. It's got a wire. It's got these metal terminals. These things last about four months. The batteries cannot be changed. You have to get a new unit. They're not that expensive. You press this little blue button. There's a little tiny light there. If it's on, that means it's, it's still working. I'm going to show you how to use this thing. I'm not going to take off my shirt. Obviously, when you do it, make sure you have skin uh, contact. But the first thing you do is you dampen this, this surface here that's got the strip. You want to dampen it. It comes with a spray bottle. Just make sure it's wet. This will conduct the electricity. And it's got this section for your arm. Same thing. Just use your spray bottle. And, and wet it here so it's nice and wet. Once you place the microcurrent unit, once you snap it on, it's going to start generating current. And it's got this support strap. Place it like this. It just so happens that I could position this so it lands right on top of my AC joint, which I'm experiencing some issues there because I've been moving a lot of heavy things lately. Bring this strap around. This can be worn under your shirt, obviously. Again, don't wear it over your shirt. I'm just showing this you. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. And I'm gonna position this right over where it hurts. It doesn't have to be exactly where the pain is because it's gonna flow throughout your uh, the region there. Then this wire connects to another one of those little metal terminals. Put it pretty close to the shoulder and then tighten it like this. Okay, so that's it. Wear it about two to three hours, twice a day. Wear it for about a week and you should experience significant pain alleviation. You could use it for an acute injury, something you've hurt recently or something, a chronic flare up like mine, and it's gonna help restore that electrical flow among the the injury site, the painful site, and in doing so, those cells are going to get, be able to get back to their normal course of business of maintaining themselves. 
there will be a reduction of inflammation, a reduction in pain, accelerated healing, and you'll be better uh, much faster than if you did not have this on. You can combine it with heat, red light therapy. Now remember, red light is electromagnetic energy, so that penetrates also and affects that electrical flow, and the light component of it has some uh, therapeutic value as well that I mentioned in a previous video. So that's a wrap up. If you've got any chronic or acute pain in your joints, try microcurrent. It's a very, very low uh, amperage electricity, imperceptible. Don't worry if you don't feel it, you're not supposed to. Don't forget the book, The Body Electric by Robert Becker. It explains the foundation of why microcurrent and pulse DMF and red light therapy have an ability to modulate or change the physiology of your cells in a way that will encourage healing. That's it for today. Take care.